The R9 270, one of the most underrated GPUs in AMD's recent history, was never really regarded as a great option for gamers. Even on its release, many reviewers were asking the question why this card ever existed. What about now, 6 years after its original release, as it gets cheaper and cheaper every day? Is it worth the $30 which I paid for it? This card is just a rebranded HD 7850, with every spec just a tiny bit improved giving it a bit of a longer lifespan than its predecessor. So if we were judging by the numbers, with 2 gigs of VRAM alongside a 256-bit memory bus with 1280 shading units, it does seem like it has still some power left in it. Although someone could argue that 2 gigs of VRAM is not really something to brag about nowadays, but just how much will that hinder the performance, we can only find out with the following benchmarks. And before the benchmarks, just to mention that the original fans on this GPU died, so I had to improvise with some case fans. So it doesn't really look that good anymore, but it gets the job done pretty well, as you are going to find out in the gaming benchmarks. It's amazing how strong that song was. Music is powerful, man. It speaks to a primal pit in our brains. It makes anyone want to get up and get their knees going. Gotta get them pumping, pumping, pumping. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time like this. Everything I needed is in your eyes and in your mind Maybe it's crazy to fall so soon Give it all to you, hey, hey. But I don't care what they say Please promise me you'll stay Cause I'm not going There's no second guessing, I can be myself You understand so well Hey, yeah, hey, maybe we're crazy And passionate How we're rushing in hey, yeah, hey. But I don't care what they say
So if you were watching all the games tested here, you could notice a very interesting thing. Namely, all of them were running in full HD resolution and although mostly low settings, I can't really complain for the price of just $30. But okay, to be honest, these cards usually go for around $40, but I was lucky enough to get one with faulty fans and then replace them, which took me only half an hour. And in my opinion, it would be a great pairing for something like an older i5 or i7 CPU, making it possible for people on a very small budget to enter in the world of PC gaming.